What's going on guys? So, I was recently in touch with the company that's been up and rising since November of 2020, a brand new company called Mavix Shares. They already have so much going for them and they are already partnered with some of the most influential streamers or content creators that you guys have probably ever seen. So just to be able to chat with them was actually really cool right off the bat. But, that's not what we're here for. We were doing some talking, they actually helped me out a lot, like a lot a lot. And I actually ended up purchasing an M9 in all white to just match our aesthetic and just take better care of myself. If you guys don't know who they are, they are dedicated to changing the future of gaming chairs and bringing an ergonomic touch to this community, which is to me super super important. I've been wanting to find a chair company that does it just like this. No bucket chairs, no racer chairs, they're, they're not good for you. Sure, include a lumbar pillow, it's really not gonna do that much if it's not properly supporting you or you don't know how to utilize it in a correct way. This company makes a chair that gives you full access to all of these features to properly support yourself, better your posture, better your energy levels. And a few days ago, something big happened to me, something very important, actually. <laughs> Just to tie in with this whole thing, but I'm actually partnered by this chair company now. You guys can use code MYTH and save some money if you guys want to take some better care of yourselves. But, guys. My M9 just got here today. I set it up. I've been sitting in it for probably about five or six hours at this point in editing this right now. Or I mean, you guys aren't gonna see real time. This is already the comfiest chair I have easily ever owned. Easily probably even sat in at this point. I can already see a significant improvement to my energy levels while I'm sitting here just doing this task. My back is supported. I'm not sitting on a rock. <laughs> Like, this pushback from this chair is so nice. The material's super breathable, including the bottom piece where it's like this cooling memory foam gel. I've been sitting here for hours, man, and honestly, like, I feel great. I feel amazing. And this is exactly what I was looking for in a chair company. So you know what? Let's dive right in. I can't wait to show you guys what this all took to build because it was super, super easy, as intricate as this looks. Let's check it out, guys. So right off the bat, I already had my work cut out for me. I got to lug the 75 pound box inside my house with not much room to work with out there. The box was super dinged up, that was because of FedEx. I always get my packages dinged up because of FedEx, I hate it so much. But let's cut into it. I'm so excited to see what's gonna be inside here. You know when you just get something in the mail and you're just super stoked to either put it together or do that? That's, that's just how this whole feeling was this whole week. And we are officially in. Starting off with some of this stuff. I love this. I usually pop it and make loud noises with it. In a top-down view so you guys can see exactly what I was seeing. And it came with these foam pillars, or styrofoam pillars I should say. I love when they come with like extra protection. There was a ton of bubble wrap in there too. And we start off with the headrest with the Mavix text across it. We're starting off with the base where the wheels will go in as well as that silver thing in the back is actually to the footrest that came with my M9. Speak of the devil, we have the footrest itself here. It feels like it has this nice, nice almost like grip tape material on it which is super nice. Diving back in, we have the back part of the Mavix chair which you can see the lumbar support and the spot where your back actually rests. And this is the big box. Like, this thing was primarily why this was so heavy. So let me just go grab this really quick. Let me just struggle with it off camera. <laughs> don't mind me. Cutting it open, it does say don't use sharp objects, but usually these top flaps are fine. I'm just not going to use it for this middle section so I don't cut anything. And we're being strong boy here. Ooh, there we go. Wow, there is a lot of stuff in this. So we have the right armrest, as well as the left. We have all the tools we need for the project. Here's a better close-up view. We have the wheels for it. I actually really love these. It's actually really cool because most of these companies have been switching over to these like roller blade wheels uh, instead of the traditional office wheel. And I've noticed my cords don't get tangled at all. It's easier to move around and just look at these. Like, these chairs look so cool with the rollerblade wheels. Pulling this out. These are the traditional wheels. Not going to use those. 
And here is the bottom piece. Here is where you're actually going to be sitting, as well as the little gas thingy. Thing that actually goes into the base of the chair and to the bottom of the chair. Right off the bat from feeling this, this material already feels super nice, especially having it out like this. And it's just super soft, super supportive. Like I can feel this is going to be a high quality gaming chair. Cutting this open. We have our arms exposed or one arm, I should say. Pretty good material, super firm. Here's the other one here. We've got the bottom piece. Let's just remove that. Check this out a little bit so you guys can kind of get a feel for the material. And let's crack open the headrest. I've been so excited to see what this is going to look like. Already, just the way that this is built is unlike anything I've ever seen. Like, Mavix is doing crazy things within this industry. Nice supportive material. And I just can't get over how well built the seat is. Like, this looks super intricate and, like, it, it just, it's so worth the money you pay for. Another squish test for you guys. Cracking open the actual back piece itself. The lumbar is actually at the top here. That's going to be that meshier material. Well, the bottom of what you guys are seeing is going to be where your back actually rests. And it's super supportive. Nice feedback. Definitely doesn't feel like it's going to wear out within a few months like some of these other mesh gaming chairs you might see. So I have high hopes. So cracking it open, we're going to get to the instructions struggling a little bit bear with me and the assembly is actually all online so let me just go check that out super quick there it is and then we're gonna choose our model the m9 and nice there's a video right there for me let me go quickly watch that so we can start piecing this thing together though so first off we're gonna take the base of the chair and we're gonna start attaching the wheels that is what they recommend doing first. Super easy to pop in, by the way. And then, of course, if you guys ever need to remove them, it's actually super easy as well. Here's the gas support where the chair actually sits on. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take the bottom part of our chair. And as you guys can see, you can actually see the hole where the pole goes into right there. We're gonna go ahead and flip this upside down and insert that, give it a nice push. Perfect. And it doesn't feel like it's coming out anytime soon. And there's the bottom of our chair, guys. I already cannot wait to sit in this. This is the back piece. This is where the backrest is actually gonna go into. Super easy as well. So you just pick it up. There's the three holes and you slide it in there and it just clicks right in place. So what you'll need to do now is take the back backrest bolts and washers. And we're just going to screw that in to secure it. And I love this tool that they gave us. And here's the armrests. We're going to quickly go ahead and do those as well. You can see the two holes on the bottom there. So we're going to take these armrest bolts, which you guys can see right here. Just insert it right through the bottom and screw it into the bottom of the armrest pole. Just secure that super fast. Perfect. Nice and steady. Buttons facing out. Time for the next one. We're just going to secure that super fast. And there we go, guys. Armrests are on. This chair is already looking so beautiful. God, I am so excited. We're going to take the headrest, the last step, actually. You can see the two holes right there and the headrest bolts that it came with as well. We're gonna quickly insert those using the other tool that they provided with us. And this is actually a little adhesive backing so you guys actually don't see those screws in there. So just adhesive it there, press it down for a few seconds. 
And you can't even tell that there's like an opening there. Like, it's really nice. And there it is, guys. Give it a quick spin. Our Mavic's chair, the M9 in all white, is fully completed and ready to go. Checking everything out. This is how the back moves. I haven't looked into it too much yet. I need to quickly do my adjustments and everything still, but I just wanted to give you guys this quick first look right out of the box on how it looks. And it's already spectacular. And there you guys have it. There is the M9 by Mavic's Chairs. Do I think it's worth it for the price point? For the specific model that I have, the M9, it is $999.99. And honestly, yeah, for a proper ergonomic chair that I know is going to support me and last, that comes with a 12-year warranty on top of everything, I 100% think that the price is worth it. As a content creator that's constantly streaming, making videos, even just doing commissions at my desk or playing games with friends, it is super, super crucial that you take care of your body. This isn't just like going to the gym, drinking enough water, being on a good sleep schedule. You need to have a good chair if you're gonna be doing this. If you're gonna be constantly sitting on something that's hurting you, you're gonna notice the effects long-term because <laughs> trust me, I have and it's not fun. And 100%, I get that everybody's different, but eventually you're gonna run yourself down being in an improper chair. So do yourself a favor, check out Mavic's chairs. Use code MYTH if you guys are deciding on getting one. I promise it'll save you a good chunk of money. But I hope you guys like this video. Shout out to Mavic's chairs for partnering up with me. I still cannot believe this. It feels unreal to just be sitting in something that I am a part of that I truly believe in. I know I keep saying I truly believe in it, but damn, dude, I believe in it. <laughs> I mean, just like, this thing is so slick. Come on. Like, how do you not go into someone's streams and be like, damn, what chair is that? Like, especially when I get up to, like, go get water or something. This is one of the coolest chairs, like, I have ever seen, personally. Like, it's just so aesthetically pleasing. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching this. I appreciate the support. You guys have been crazy. We're almost at 3.5k subs on YouTube, and it means a lot to me. You guys are the reason that I'm doing this, and just thank you so much. Have a good one, guys.